as I look back at the last 33,000 kilometers with this car, it really makes me excited for the future. It makes me excited to see where the car is going to take me, the people I'm going to meet. And it's not a number on the dash. It's not 500,000. It's not a million. I'm sure it'll get there. But it's something where it's accumulation of life experiences, accumulation of life events, and just memories. That's what these cars are for. They have wheels, they have a motor, they have a transmission. You have to use them. I'm so passionate about the fact that I can use the car to meet people, to enjoy my life, to enjoy the life with my family, and just to really see where the vehicle is gonna take me. I know for me, I, I'm gonna give this car to my son. Um, it'll probably have a million kilometers, half a million kilometers, but he'll have not a car with a lot of Ks or a lot of numbers on the dash. He'll have a car that meant so much to his dad, so much to his family, so much to everybody around them that it really, I feel like this car can be used to inspire, it can be used to bring people on their own journey, to get people to closer to where they want to be. It's something where he's going to really get that car and just know that his dad really enjoyed it. I'm Lucas Scarfoni. I'm fortunate to shoot automobiles for a living. I'm the co-publisher of Autostrada magazine. So to rewind, I've been uh, in the car world in the GTA for almost 20 years. It was really something where I could document the cars that I would see through my lens. I never thought I'd have my own car eventually, which is very special, but uh, I've been really fortunate to grow up in the car world. So I'm um, 33 now, so I've been shooting for 20 years, which, is, uh, which has been a lot of fun. The cars are great on their own, but when you can really talk to the people and see the memories they create with the cars, where they take the cars, that's the special part and the inspiring part for me. As a photographer, it's, it's kind of up to me to capture the essence of the car as well. So when you combine that with the owner of the car, it's it's a very big privilege to be able to capture that. I think if, if there's a lot of young kids out there just starting with their first digital camera, if you love what you shoot, it'll really shine through in the finished product. But it's a lot of work. It, it, it's a lot of years and sacrifice and a lot of road trips and driving and editing. And that's kind of the, the tip of the iceberg is what you see, but underneath is a lot of the, uh, the work that goes into being a professional automotive photographer. I used to be that kid lined up on the curb waiting for that special vehicle to roll in. But now it's really interesting to see that next generation sitting there giving you the thumbs up. And it's something where if I can use my vehicle to help them get closer to whatever their dream is, that seems like it's my duty owning the vehicle. Thanks to accumulation of an incredible series of events, uh, I had the opportunity to spec my very own Porsche GT3 Touring. So that was something where I've built a lot of cars with my friends and my clients, really going through different options and stitching and all these very small details that come together to make something spectacular and personal. So for me, I really genuinely enjoy that process. It's kind of the car nerd in me where, I don't know, I'll have a million things to do, but I'll be up at 3 a.m. on my laptop building Porsches on the configurator for some reason. Uh, it's, it's just a really interesting experience. When the time came to build my personal GT3 Touring, it had to be green. As you know, there's a lot of different greens in the paint to sample program. Uh, for me, the color forest green metallic really caught my eye because of the silver flake in the paint. With the GT3 Touring package, you can do the Touring package in silver. So I really wanted to pull those silver accents from the paint and bring them throughout the outside of the car. So silver wheels, silver exhaust, silver script, um, black calipers, uh, ceramic brakes. Really, I wanted the silver and the green. And when you think about green, kind of the classic combination is green on tan. The green over tan really epitomizes the touring spec in my mind. It's something where it's a very timeless color combination. It really plays well off the tones. So I really wanted to have the green, the silver and the tan was, was really the whole spirit of the vehicle for me. We did some really interesting things on the inside um, through the CXX Sonderwoosh Special Wishes program. We were able to do all the interior trim in brushed aluminum instead of black. The big one for me was the shift pattern on the, uh, the manual transmission. It came uh, from the factory yellow, so we were fortunate to be able to do it in silver. So really, it's all these kind of nerdy car things that 
I think, come together to make a really timeless, a really classic build that I'm very fortunate to call mine. It's something where I, uh, I think the car is going to be with me for a tremendous amount of time. I see it every day and I never get sick of seeing all those little details that come together to make something special. As it sits behind me, the car's got 33,350 kilometers on it, which I'm fairly confident is one of the higher mileage cars in Canada, if not the highest. Um, so for me, it's, it's not the mileage number, it's really the experiences throughout that 33,000 kilometers. And it's something where I knew, just from meeting a lot of people who've had so many amazing experiences with their vehicles, I wanted to be that guy. I really made an effort to document everything all the way through. So if you look at my social media, I always kind of put the mileage at the end because I just hope it really inspires people to realize that these cars have wheels and a motor and it's something that you can use every day if you want to. So as a custodian of a car that actually gets driven, um, it's a big responsibility. It's not something where you kind of just turn the key and go, which you can do with a Porsche. It's something that it needs to have its regular oil changes. It needs to make sure it's taken care of. Um, I'm very fortunate where I've been kind of allowed to document that process. I'm that guy that has that nerdy binder full of service records and every magazine the car's been in, every article, every little memory with the car is in my green binder, obviously. Um, so that's the important side with being that custodian is really making sure that the car is happy. A happy car is a happy owner, I think. And I wanted to use the car to give back. Um, we're all very fortunate to own these cars and be around these cars. And I think it's our responsibility and really our duty as owners of these vehicles to give back when we can. It's amazing how these small little moments that we can create with the car have everlasting impacts on people that are going through things no one should ever have to. So for me, my goal when I bought the car was to raise at least a dollar per kilometer. Um, and I'm really proud to say that I've done that up until this point, but it'll keep continuing as long as I own the vehicle. From charity events to track days to fundraisers, I would just really encourage people to use the cars to put a smile on someone's face, to raise money for a charity, to really realize how fortunate we are to own the cars and to use them to give back that way. So one of the most special parts of the vehicle for me is when I pop the hood and I get to see the signatures of so many people who've helped me over the years. It's funny, when I was in an event, I opened the hood and someone asked me, oh, like, are these all like famous people? And I was like, you know what? I'm like, they are, like they're famous to me because really so many people have taken me under their wing, made time for me, really helped me achieve my goals, that it's super awesome for me to be able to look and see and have all these people with me when I drive. So they're not just signatures, they're not just little scribbles, it's something that means the world to me because it's without all these people, there's no way I'd have this car. When I first bought the car, I drove it right to my grandparents' house. It's something where my grandma signed the car and then my grandma's like, oh no, I don't need to do that. And I was like, grandpa, you're gonna sign the car. So he wrote his name and you know what? The look on his face when he, I told him I didn't have to bring the car back, it was mine. I bought the car, it was for me. And he just lit up. It's something where they didn't care about cars, but they were so happy for their grandson. And now that my grandpa unfortunately passed away a couple months ago, uh, but to have that signature on there is, uh, it's so special. It's something that is just the accumulation of all these incredible people in my life led to this car. And to have a lot of those people with me via their signature is something I'll always be grateful for. So a very special memory for me that I'll always have with me in this car is being able to take my son on the track for the first time. So for me, I've grown up at the racetrack. I've been shooting. My parents used to drive me to the same track. So fast forward to one of our Autostrada days and we shut the track down. I had him on my wife's lap and it was just something where it was accumulation of a lifetime of events, a lifetime of work, a lifetime of passion. And now yeah, looking over and seeing him like with his little headphones on and uh, just sharing that with my family. Like it's, that's transcends a vehicle. It's something that really 
It's a very special machine that gives us the opportunity to make these memories and the privilege to make these memories because I'll never forget that. It's something where it really, yeah, it gets me a little bit emotional because it's it's been such a big part of my life and to be able to share something that intimate and something that special to me um, with my son. He was three months old, he'll never remember, but I'll always kind of have that picture um, and that video of him going on the track for the first time. So that's something that really um, will stay with me no matter how long I have the car, it'll always be that very, very special memory.